Hi, I'm Linda from Bar Lattie's Body Bliz. Welcome to Quiet Quarantine Cardio Sculpt. For today's workout, you will need a stability ball, a light set of hand weights, I'm using one kilo or just over two pounds, and a resistance loop. Mine is medium to heavy tension. We're using it for the lower body. If you don't have a loop, maybe get a Pilates band and tie it into a loop, use ankle weights, or even do the whole workout without any extra equipment. You need a ball because we will be sitting on it, and we will also be putting our back against it, so you kind of need one of those. You can try and improvise if you want to but it would be ideal if you had one we're going to get straight into it with a bit of light cardio to warm up the body so what you just stand with your feet nice and wide your shoulders are down and back start bringing the ball in an arc up to the sides nice and easy point your toe and tap keeping that nice wide stance and I want you to think about pushing into the ball so you want to activate your upper body down and tap and as you get a bit warmer, why not sink a bit lower in those legs? You should also feel this through your waistline. So keep your belly button pulled into your spine, reaching high. Everything getting warm, nice and dynamic. Four more, three, two, one. Now start keeping it at waist height and tap behind. Behind, behind. I want you to twist with that ball and then stop it just before it kind of gets towards the back and keep your knees soft and tap and tap all the way, cross and cross, feeling that ringing action in your waistline, right? A few more like this, four and three and two and last one. Now overhead, and we're gonna pull it down as your leg comes across. Now this is quite fast. So if you find that this is too fast, do it half time like this, okay? That's definitely still effective. And maybe for the warm up, it is a little bit better for most people. Otherwise keep it small, pull and push. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now place it on the ball and we're gonna do a side lunge and we're gonna push the ball across and across. I'm sure you've seen me do this one before if you've done any of my other fit ball workouts. So I want you to swing your arm to the back and really keep that lunge wide and really feel your weight in the heels and your straight leg in a thigh stretching. Again, waistline is definitely heating up here. A few more, just some really simple moves. Four, three, two, one. Now pick up the ball again, and we're gonna do knees. So just knees to that ball. Maybe come down slightly to the side. Side and side, knee and knee. A Little bit of a bounce happening in those legs. Why not make it fun? Four, three, two, one. Now I want you to come in with the knee, in with the knee, switch feet. In, in, walk, walk. So we're not jumping because it's meant to be a quiet workout, right? We don't want to wake up any neighbors. But if you want to, you can jump, okay? I'm trying to keep it low impact, keep it joint friendly. In and in, walk, walk to switch. Try and keep both your legs nice and bent and never come out of that kind of semi-lunge position. Are your arms feeling this a little bit now? Walk, walk, in and in, walk, walk. Four more, starting to get a breath happening. Three, in and in, two, in and in. Last one. In and in, nice job. Put the ball in front of you and we're gonna do a bit of a combination. Wide plie, I want you to push into the ball for three, then bring it up overhead for two. Back down, it's push up, two, three. Come down first, overhead for two. Back down, push up, two, three. Pick it up, overhead for two and back down, push, two, 
three, you really need to push into that ball, okay? We're activating your chest and all the muscles in your arms as you're pushing. And overhead for two, back down. One, two, three. Try and get really low in those legs. We're hitting up through the inner thighs and you'll need them nice and warm for what's to come. Up and down, up and down. Again, down, two, three. Pick it up, all the way down. Last time, one, two, three. Pick it up, down and up. Now stay here and side to side. So it's a mini side lunge with a side bend. Side to side. Bring your elbow towards your hip. That's going to oblique crunch in there, right? That's where we wanna go. Bending directly to the side, not forward or back. Side to side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now stay on this side and we're just going to do little lunges into this leg and load the ball onto the bottom arm. So it's in and out, in and out with the arm, down and up, down and up with the leg. Maybe push with your hand so that you're feeling even more tension in that bottom arm. Are you feeling your bicep yet? Four more, and three, and two, and one, and guess what, other side. So you're pushing down with that top hand, in and out with a slight bend so you still feel it in that oblique and keep the weight in the heel of that bottom leg. If I ever go too fast, slow it down to your pace or maybe keep it more shallow or maybe lose the ball, okay? This is your workout, I just want you to be challenged. Four more and three and two and one. Guess what, we get to sit on the ball. Now, I want you to sit on the ball with your legs nice and wide so you can bounce on that. Now, if you're worried about your neighbors, get a yoga mat, maybe double it up or use a carpeted area so you can have that ball on there. So you want your feet to be relatively close to the ball around 90 degrees so that you can come up like this, okay? And that's what we're starting with. So push up and push up, push up and push up. Bounce is helping you get up there, but it's a contraction in the thighs at the top of the motion. Never fully straightening, using your hand at the back. That's what's helping you to not lose the ball, right? We don't wanna lose that ball and end up on our butt. Four and three, two and one. Now, tiny bounces and reaches across. So you're bouncing, squeeze your glutes. You can use your weights here if you want. I'm doing it without. Squeeze your glutes as you bounce. Really do this with intention. It's not meant to be a kind of jumping all over the place, bouncing all, all over the place workout. It's meant to be controlled for your lower body. So maybe lift your toes up, keep your weight in the heels, keep your upper body nice and steady to the front, open chest, Squeeze your waist, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're just going to do it faster and reach to the front, reach to the front, faster, faster. Squeeze your glutes, faster, faster. So you can do it boxing kind of, but I'm kind of just doing a little jab. So maybe there's an enemy and you're jabbing them in the throat or something. I don't know. I just made that up. Probably does not make sense at all but just keep going. Bounce, bounce, weight in the heels, clench your butt cheeks, like you got a million dollar bill in there. Four and three and two and one. Overhead with a bend. Squeeze, squeeze, overhead with a bend. Now you can make this as big or as small as you want it. You can keep it here and do it all gentle or you can punch overhead, you can bring that elbow into your hip and you can bounce and squeeze your lower body. Okay, up to you how many calories you wanna burn today. 
I'm going to punch and really go for it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now come a bit further to the front and we're going to start going side to side, side to side. So you need to come off the ball a little bit more. So kind of just the base of your butt cheeks is on there. Side to side, side to side. Giving you a little bit of a break for the heart rate, but really burning out your lower body. Can you feel that? Can you feel your inner thighs? Keep it really wide so you get that stretch in the inner thigh at the same time. Side to side, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to sweep behind the back, sweep behind the back. Over and back, over and back. So this controlled hold on the leg while you are sweeping the arm with a dynamic stretch should be work. Squeeze, over and out, over and out. Four more, and three, and two, and last one. Get back onto the ball, get back into the bouncing, overhead pull down. Overhead pull down, stay in that bounce. Make sure you've got your butt cheeks clenched again and your legs are in those 90 degrees angles. A few more of these and we're gonna switch it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now close your legs, three, four, open your legs. Three, four, close, two, three, four, open, two, three, four. Doesn't matter so much what you're doing with your hands. I really want you to focus on your legs. Close, two, three, four, open, two, three, four. Come on, use your core strength and those strong legs to shut and open those legs. Three, four, open, two, three, four. Three more sets, two, three, Four and open, back close, three, four and open, keep that bounce high, last set, three, four and open, two, three, four, nice job, guess what, we're going to kneel now and we're going to use the ball to really whittle our waistline, so come into a kneeling position where your toes are together, your knees are apart, your tummy's pulled in and you're slightly pushing your hips forward. Shoulders are down and back. Pick up the ball, just start twisting side to side. You can choose to engage your quads here by slightly hinging back. Why not, right? Hinge back and you should feel the front of your thighs catching. Are you feeling your waistline? Just twisting side to side like this. Still high on the heart rate and really feeling those obliques. Across and across, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Now it's overhead, side to side, really controlled. So I'm not bringing my arm down this time, I'm just keeping my arms straight with a bit of a bend at the elbow. I'm pushing my hands into the ball and I'm directly bending to the side, not to the front, to the side, using my strong obliques to help me get back up straight. Side to side, are you feeling that? The more you hinge over like a rag doll, the more you feel it. Don't forget about your legs. Are you squeezing your butt? Are you hinged back slightly? They should be burning. Four more. And three, and two, and one. We're going to come to the corner. Hinge and reach, come up. Hinge and reach, come up. You're hinging, holding your tummy in with a flat back and extending those arms as much as you can to the corner. Over and up, over and up, over and up. 
Come on, four more of these. And three. And two. Last one. Now we're going to do a combination. Side bend, reach corner. Other way. Side bend, reach corner. So you should be feeling a bit of your back working as well as you hold everything in to reach that all the way to the corner. So you need to be thinking that you're moving your upper body as one unit, not curving through the spine, but locking your core so that you're bringing that ball down and up with control. Four more sets. Come on. Three, and you can keep it shallow. You can even do it without the ball. Two, and over, come on. Last one, and over. Oh, those shoulders. Last thing with the ball in this position. Side to side, elbows come front and back. Maybe hinge, squeeze your glutes. You know, this is the last little bit for the waist whittling, so. Push into the ball with those hands. Twist and twist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, my arms. So now we're just going to into a little bit of lower abs with the ball. If you find it too hard, you can do these on the ground. If you want to follow me, I want you to Come into this position where you've got your lower back pressed into the ball and your hands are going to be by the side. Now you need to roll back to the point where you can lift a leg quite comfortably without falling off. We're going to do some in, out, up and down. In, out, up and down. In, out, up and down. Now, I want you to think about pushing your lower back into the ball I want you to think about keeping those legs super straight on this straight up and down. If you can't do it with a straight leg, you can bend your leg, but please try a few with a straight leg, even if you can't lift it as high as me, up and down. In and out, up and down, just four more. In and out, up and down, three, Look straight ahead, try not to look at me once you see the exercise. Two, and one. Now stay in this position, make sure you does not too much weight on the hands. I want you to really hold yourself with your core. We're just gonna stay on the one side. In, out, up, down, out and in. In, out, up, down, out and in. So you're coming knee to chest, straight leg, then it's out and in, in, out, up, down, out and in. So this is work for the lower body as well. I realize that, you're welcome. For the bonus burn, out and in. Again, if this is too fast for you, you do it at your pace, okay? Just do it so it's hard. I don't want it to be easy. If this is too easy for you, put on some ankle weights. Make it challenging. Out and in, just four more. In, out, up, down, out and in. In, out, up, down, out and in. In, out, up, down, out and in. This is the last one. In, out, up, down, out and in. Before we do the other leg, I just want some upper body crunches. So roll back a bit further and all we're doing is crunching up and using that ball, that rolling action on the ball to help you get really deep into that crunch. Now don't pull on your head, light grip behind your ears and really breathe out at the top of the motion, lifting your shoulder blades. Just a few more, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last one. Nice job, back into position. We're doing the same thing as before with the other leg. Bent leg in, out, up, down, and then sweep to the side and in. In, out, up, down, 
out and in. In and out, up and down, out and in. Now the further out you go on this one, the more you're gonna feel it, okay? Out and in. In, out, up, down, out and in. You should really feel your hip flexor here as well. Out and in. Keep your neck long. It's tempting to start hunching your shoulders. Don't do it. Maybe look up slightly to help you keep that neck long. There's muscles in your neck too, you know. So we're strengthening them by holding this position. Four more sets. In, out, up, down, out and in. This is three. Try and keep your legs straight if you can. Doesn't matter if you're pointing or flexing. Just keep moving. This is the last one. Up, down, out and in. Last thing on the ball with our hands behind our ears again. We're just gonna cross and cross. Cross and cross. Blow out and squeeze. Really simple stuff. Traditional cross body curl. Try to roll in slightly so you're engaging a bit of your lower abs as well as your upper. Across and across, keeping those elbows wide. Four more. Three, two, last one. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna do some arms now. And I'm actually going to use the ball to squeeze in between my inner thighs. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to, but if you are able to, then why not miss out on some inner thigh work? You never want to do that, do you? Inner thighs are a stubborn area. So I'm going to stand, put the ball in between my legs, squeeze in on the ball, and then come down a bit. Okay, so I'm not sitting, I'm holding a semi-squat, and I'm pushing in on that ball. Yes, that's what we're doing, because we love that burn. Now put your hands together in front, and we're just gonna go overhead, center. Overhead, center. Keeping that rounded shape and pushing against your weights. Overhead, center, squeeze the legs. Overhead, center, squeeze. Overhead and center. Overhead and center. I'm letting our heart rates come down a bit because we did feel them, or at least I felt them, after doing all those abs on the ball and all that cardio with the ball. <sighs> squeeze against your weight. You don't want to miss out here. Overhead down and squeeze. Overhead down and squeeze. Three, squeeze. Two, squeeze. Last one, squeeze, hold the squeeze. Out and in, out and in. Out and in, in and out, other side. Out and in, out and in, out and in, in and out. Remember to squeeze your weights on that in and out. Out and in, in and out, squeeze your legs. Out and in, out and in, at shoulder height, in and out. So try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Out and in, in and out. Come on, breathe. Out and in. In and out, four more sets. Out and in, squeeze the ball. Out and in, out and in, in and out. This is three. Wide to the side. And then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Out and in, out and in, out and in, in and out. Last time, out and in, out and in, out and in, in and out. Now I'm gonna keep the ball in between my legs but I'm going to lift it off the ground and then hinge slightly. So I've got bent legs squeezing in on the ball and I'm hinging my back with a flat back. I'm going to go out and in, out and in, out and in to the side. Back tricep, 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 side tricep. Back, two, three, then side. Back, two, three, then side. Always having the back of your arm pointing to the ceiling, right? Back, two, three, and side. Keep your arms up. You're not moving through the upper portion of your arm. Keep your back flat. Squeeze on that ball. Are you squeezing in on that ball? I hope it's not just there for decoration. Back, 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 and out. Four more sets. Look down at the floor, keep your neck in alignment with your spine, 
out and in. Back, 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 out and in. Two more sets. Back, out and in, last time. Back, 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 out and in. Nice job, back to the front, back into that lower position, squeeze and sit into that semi-squat. We're going to have our hands up. We're going to go one, two, three, out and in, out and in. One, two, three, at 90 degrees angles, out and in, out and in. Squeeze the ball, two, three, out and in, out and in. Push up overhead for three, keep it up, extend as far as you can, maybe a micro bend in those arms as you extend, out and in. One, two, three, out and in, out and in. It should still be aerobic. You should still be puffing because you're engaging large muscle groups here. Up, two, three, out and in, out and in. Four more, two, three, out and in. Maybe sink lower in the legs. Up, two, three, out and in, out and in. Two more, up, two, three, out and in, out and in. Last time, up, two, three, out and in, out and in. Nice job, we're coming back to the higher one, lifting the ball in the hinged position. Okay, flat back, stick your booty out. We're going to use our arms hanging by our side, then bring it up so that you're engaging your upper back. We're going to go up, two, three, back, two, three. So elbow side, two, three, elbows back, two, three. I want you to keep your arms up the entire time. Wide, two, three, pulsing, back, two, three. Shoulder blades clenched together the entire time. You're not releasing them, it's a tiny motion. Squeeze on the legs. Two, three, wide. Two, three, back. Two, three, wide. Two, three, back. Two, three, three more. Two, three, this burn is so bad. Wide, two, three, back. Two, three, last one. Back, two, three, and back. Two, three. Ouch. Just move forward and back, releasing through that upper back. Ah, oh, that burn was real. Four, three, two, one. Now put the ball away and put your weights down and we're going to grab our loop. Minnie has decided to join us. So we're going to grab our loop. Hello, Minnie. You're welcome distraction. Come and sit with us. And we're going to, let's actually get into all fours. We're going to put it around the ankle of the back leg and then around the foot of the front leg, okay? So you're kind of in this position, ankle, foot. We're gonna come into all fours and we're just going to push out of the shoulders. We're just doing a really nice glute set because we can start very simple, up and down, up and down. So I want you to think about staying in a really nice posture here where your shoulders are pushing out, not slouching like this, your tummy is in, your back is flat, and you're pushing that foot slightly on an angle, okay? Tap the knee, don't rest it, push it. Tap and push, tap and push. Squeeze, you should feel your hamstring as well as your glute. So I hope you're squeezing your glute and thinking about that hamstring. Slow and controlled, four more, three, Two, last one. We're gonna slightly hover the leg, extend and bend, extend and bend. So now it's really a lot of hamstring. Uh, it's okay if you want to slightly turn out that knee. I like to do that because it gets a little bit more into the side glute. Extend and bend, extend and bend. Squeeze your glutes and if that other, the loop on the other foot starts curling up, don't worry about it, as long as it doesn't fall off. You might wanna bring your leg a bit further out to the side. That will help you to keep it on. Extend and bend, extend and bend. Six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Now we're gonna do a circle to the back to the front. Now my loop has traveled down my foot on the other side and that's okay because it's still staying put. As long as I push my foot into the carpet, I can hold it there. If you need to adjust, adjust. But the nature of these loops is you kind of never know what they're gonna do. Tap to the back, tap to the front. I'm keeping my leg low, but I'm squeezing my glute, okay? So you just need to feel the squeeze in your glute and the push in your outer thigh as you come to the front and the push in your inner thigh as you move to the back. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Now we're going to come back into position where we started, but this time we're gonna hold it up and push and push. Tiny little ones up to the ceiling. Tiny little, the final burn. Your supporting leg will be burning as well. Push and push, tiny pulses. All these exercises you would have done before, tried and proven. Why not use them with a the loop? It's even harder. Squeeze, squeeze, tiny little motions, breathing through it. Remember your back is flat, pushing out of your shoulder blades. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. All we're doing is exactly the same thing on the other leg. So ankle on the back leg now, around the sole of the foot. Get yourself into that same position. And if this is ever too hard on your wrist, you can come down here if you prefer, okay? That's your option. Remember to push out of those shoulder blades. First one was just up and down, up and down. So this is where you work out your best form and you think about the muscles that you're using. Squeezing your glutes, feeling your hamstrings slightly on an angle to the back, not directly up. So you can really push into that loop with the sole of your foot and feel your hamstring even more. Okay, so really try to engage. <sighs> Breathing out <sighs> at the back there, out at the top. Six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's gonna be out and in, out and in. And don't worry if the loop moves again. Mine is migrating down my ankle, out and in. Now, if you want to, once again, keep your foot flexed, that will help. If you wanna move your knee more to the side, rather than directly facing down, you'll get more of an outer glute action happening. Out and in, squeeze, squeeze. The closer you bring your heel to your glute, the more you feel the hamstring, right? Six more, five. Four, three, two, and one. I'm just gonna move so you can actually see a bit better. Extend your leg and we're going to the back and to the side, back and side. So if it's gone down onto the foot of the back leg, just press the top of your foot into the mat and think about outer thigh at the front, inner thigh at the back. Squeeze, squeezing. Try and keep your kneecap as much as you can down to the mat. And you can lift a little bit in the center of that arc to engage the glute even more. Six and five, four and three. The wider the better, two and one. Finish it, coming back to the center where we started and those little pulses up, up and up, up and up. This is where we finish with this glute work. Up and up, squeeze and squeeze. Come on, strong till the end. We're nearly done with this. Up and up, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. We're nearly done, one last little bit and then we're going to stretch. So come into the center with your feet in front of you, your tummy's pulled in. We're going to come back into a C curve. Then we're going to put our hands behind. I want you to tap out, tap in. 
tap out, tap in. So you're tapping out wide, tapping in. It's out and in. It's out and in. Now, if you want to make it harder, then lift your hands out and in, out and in. If you want to make it even harder, keep your legs straight, out and in. Slow it down if you're doing this, and in. This is our last exercise. So just go, 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 and in. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. You are done. Oh, that one killed. <laughs> Did you feel that burn? Just to finish our lower abs. So whenever you're using the ball, you're definitely recruiting your entire core, reach to the front. So finishing with those abs was a little bit of cruelty by me. You're welcome for the torture. Across and across. Nice job. Now just reach over and reach over. One more time each way. Reach over and reach over. Interlace and push forward. Breathing. Then push overhead and lean to the side and to the side. One more time and to the other side. Now, coming to a kneeling position, and I want you to bring your hands underneath your bum onto your ankles. So you're kind of holding onto your ankles, okay? Then from here, you're locked in, shoulders are down and back. I want you to lean your head to the side. So you're holding your hands straight there, leaning to the side, feeling your neck all the way down the side of your shoulder. Other side. This is such a good stretch. Roll around one more this side. Roll around other side. Great job. Now I'm going to use the ball to stretch. You don't need to do this. You can do it without the ball. Just one leg on the ball, keeping it super straight and then lean towards that leg, stretching the hamstring. If you want to hold on to the leg, you can. You can definitely do this without the ball. Try and keep it straight. Now bring that leg in front of you and we're doing like a figure four stretch. So bring the ball in, maybe hold it there and just bring it in as close as you can, keeping that leg bent. Ah, oh, that feels so good. And then we're doing that to the other side. So first of all, leg on top. And you might not be that flexible. You might be here and already feel the stretch in the hamstring. That's fine. Otherwise, lean towards it. And then just bring the foot on an angle and roll it in towards you. Push your chest towards it. Nice job. And just for the front of the thighs, I'm going to hold on to that ball for some stability. Just bring my heel up to my glute, stretch my quad, and just other side there. Bring that in and push. And for inner thigh, if you want to use the ball again, just put your foot up on that ball and then lean down into it, keeping this straight leg nice and straight. And other side. And just a cat cow to finish. Push up to the ceiling. And back down. One more time up. And down. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Quiet Quarantine with the ball and loop and all of those wonderful things. I hope you felt the burn. I'll see you at the next workout.